hello and welcome to my channel please like share and subscribe if you like this video and thanks for watching thank you to my day ones twos and threes thank you to all my new subscribers that's coming in that means well thank you all so very much i appreciate you all and welcome 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 um thank you for all the donations that have been coming in y'all thanks so much for everybody that been supporting my channel um please remember try to watch some of the commercials it helps the channel if you can't donate to the channel it helps the channel and it helps out with the you know the cash giveaway that I give away at the end of each month um, I give away a hundred dollars each to two of my subscribers as appreciation to support my channel okay y'all so um only thing you have to do is leave a comment uh, whatever emoji whatever in the comment section I put your name in the bag I pull it out the bag two names Every month I do this and give away $200, okay, y'all? So, um, oh, you have to have Cash App. You have to have Cash App, y'all, okay? Um, please ch check out Fashion 19. She has a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful clothing, you know, um, line. So, please check her page out. Um, what else did I wanted to say? Um, this video for entertainment and educational purpose. I hope I don't know if I said it or not. So everything is alleged, some is not, and the fair air use is in my description box, y'all. So um another thing I wanted to announce really, really quick is everybody that saw part two of the video, the last the video that I, I made before this one. Um part one is in on my other page okay so you have to go to part one on the other page and um it's sipping with miss low down low down it's you know you can go to the comment section and go to the very first comment that was put up um well it should be at the top because i think i pinned it so you can go to there and the link is in the description box if you can't find it but if not you should be able to just put in sipping with miss low down and um pull it up so that's the first part, and then I'll put the second part on this page, okay? Because I'm trying to get that channel going, too. Um, let's talk about Dolph, y'all. Let's talk about when it got to the point where Dolph felt like he needed to send out an SOS and let somebody know that if something happens to me right now, this is the person who did it. This is the SOS that he sent out. Okay? Who did this information get to that it shouldn't have got to, y'all? Ask yourself this question. Who found out about this $100 million that put Dolph's life in danger? Now, we know who one of the pre-members said, um... Uh, did it the same person that came to Dolph's funeral they're saying that you know somebody from death Pyre, you know would have had something to do with it this is what he said that Dolph said but we have not heard from this guy since and some people was wondering is this guy real or fake you know now because he haven't came forward and said anything else. No more videos, no nothing. Where did he just disappear into thin air or something? Like, if he was bold enough to come forward and say that, why haven't we heard anything else from him? Is he in protective custody? That's well, y'all. So, I can imagine that he could be in protective custody because he said he saw with his own eyes the bank account. Okay, now we all know that Dolph um, didn't have a lot of stuff in his name. So whose name was really on that bank account? That's the, was a question. When we, if you do find old boy, ask him that. Whose name was on there? Was Dolph's name actually on that account? Or was that account under somebody else's name? Y'all, $100 million goes a long way. Okay? A very long way. And why would somebody that has people, you know, passing on their label... Over and over again, people are just dropping like flies on this label. Why would he not go to anybody else's funeral, but he came to Dolph? Is it because that person came forward? You have to ask yourself this question. 
the guy that's from Pre, that came forward and said that? Did he come out just to try to prove that he didn't have anything to do with it, you know? Get there and say to the family, man, I know you're hearing stuff. Somebody came forward. I'm not like that, blah, blah, blah. I did not have anything to do with this. This is just rumors. You know, did they come to the funeral just to say that to the, uh, the family? You know, or was this just all a show for them all working together to make it look as if, you know, it's all over the place. Pre-member comes forward. Then we got all this stuff going on with CMG and then Trap and, you know, Fort, Fort Worth members. You know, you, you're kind of like getting confused as to who did what and what and who, y'all, you know? But ask yourself this question. Out of everything that you've seen with Dolph, did he even realize himself that he let the cat out the bag to the wrong people and things got around really, really fast? Okay? Things got around real fast. I told you, um, think about Trap. Trap wasn't the type of person that was going to put Dolph's information out on the street himself. And it would have, you know, made people look at him differently. So why wouldn't Trap use Soldier Boy to do it? This one of his, they boys. And he'll do anything. You know, he's trying to be in the in crowd. So he'll do anything that Trap and Yellow and them say, really. So when they made that call to him, and you already have seen the pictures of Trap hanging out with CMG and all of this, when they made that call to him, because, you know, CMG and Trap, allegedly, this is all alleged. CMG and Trap, them, they've already had their conversation. So now it's to put the, you know, the puzzle pieces together. You call Soldier Boy, have him do that. People going to think he did it. Um, they also going to think, you know, CMG did it because they tried to take him out before. This is all allegedly, y'all. And... You know, this is how you get stuff going all over the place, okay? Then you also have, you know, um, the other guy. I forgot his name now. The, the mob ties guy. Not the Prince of Darkness, son. The other guy. That, the, the one that's in Memphis, that his mother passed away. You have him, you know, his mother just gets hit up right before Dolph get there. So, you know, the temper, you know... Everybody was mad, you know, temper was on 10. You already have somebody that has, you know, a history of taking people out. And then his mother gets hit up. And we don't know if they try to blame that on Dolph, you know. Ain't no telling. It was just a lot of chaos going on at the same time. So, like I said, who, who do y'all think? Who do y'all think found out? And when they found out about the 100 million, they felt like that could go a long way, y'all. Who loves to be real flashy? Oh, he thinks he's the yin and the yang, okay? He think he wear the most stylish clothes ever with his little puny self. And he feel like he deserve all of this stuff. Like, you know, he feel like he is in deservance of these things. Okay? And everybody noticed that the jealousy that he, how he act toward Dolph, busting his car windows out, um, just a lot of, a little just underhandedness. When he did interviews, the looks on his face, he just looked like a hater to me, y'all, the way he act. He didn't seem like he cared for the other artists that's on PRE label. He felt like he wanted all that shine. He didn't want to share the spotlight. That's what it just seemed like to me. The more you find out about this guy right here. This is what I get from him. And, you know, did the information get back to him? Possibly, y'all. Okay? I mean, he is friends with everybody. All of the enemies of Dolph, they were his friends, y'all. 
These were people that he was so tight with. And I mean everybody. Okay? Now, here you have it. Okay? If you ain't heard about it, go to part one on the other channel, like I told y'all. You have... Key Glock is best, best friends. He's even closer to this guy than he is to Stray Drop. So you have Key Glock that has an inside scoop person on the Makitas. Somebody that is the daddy that's part owner of the Makitas. Morris, M-O-R-R-I-S, Morris Hill, not Maurice. His brother, who is part ownership of the Makita, y'all. He had a thing for Dolph's mom. Okay? But the Thornton guy ended up with her. Okay? Well, it's just a long time of beef of brewing, y'all. And Remember I told y'all, when I told y'all about the Grim Reaper, he finds out the weakness of everybody. That he, he finds out what their weakness is. Okay? This is how he gets to them. This is how the Riddler works. He has to find out your, your weakness. Okay? Did he find out what Dolph's weakness was? Was it that, you know, the Makitas, they never cared for him like that anyway. Because the daddies didn't get along, y'all. Okay? So, was it easy for them to get somebody that's hard up for money? You see Raven, she's starving for attention. She wants that clout so bad that she is all over the internet, running her mouth. And the more she talks, the more people want to put their foot in it. Okay, y'all? And did the Grim Reaper find out Dolph's weakness? That ever everybody around him wasn't caring for him like that. That he was, you know, he had ties into a lot of his family members' businesses through marriage or not. Their family was so big that the names didn't change so many times that they could they think that they maybe maybe they think they can get away with the lie of pretending like they're not family. But these people all grew up around each other. The Thorntons grew up around each other, the Hills grew up around each other, the Williams sisters grew up around each other. I told y'all, I said, you know, I don't, I did not understand why I was brought on to this case, but now I'm starting, you know, the pieces are starting to fall together, okay? If you have a big family that's from the South and you grew up next door to another big family with a bunch of, you know, guys and gals, okay? And you got a bunch of gals and gals in your family, you know, there's going to even be, there's going to be tensions, with these two families because these brothers might be talking to these sisters over there one might like one sister one week and like the other sister that this happened i told y'all i do believe i was picked for a reason for to put my two cents in here okay y'all My grandmother had 13 girls and five boys. 13 girls and five boys. It was a similar situation that took place like this. So, yeah, y'all. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. This is where this comes from. You get people in good. Everybody's talking. Everybody running their mouth. Key Glock, he is cousins to, you know, Dolph's baby mama. He's treating baby mama, you know, Dolph is treating his baby mama like crap. I mean, they got pictures showing that they're so happy together. But if you are this perfect family and holiday pictures dressed alike and all this stuff on the boats and all this stuff, why were y'all not married? Why never get married? 
Think about this, y'all. She was good enough for everything else to be his baby's mama, put in a big house, but he never would marry her. Was it, you know, animosity from that? Was Key Glock running back telling her he was with somebody while he was there when we went to, on concert? You know, was she? Was he running back telling stuff? Was she getting mad? Now, I don't care how she acts so sweet and all of this other stuff, y'all. A woman don't like that man with nobody else. Even if it's somebody that's some swingers. They still don't like it. They'll go along with that. Some of them. A lot of them don't. But some of them do. They go along with it, but they still don't like it. If they had the choice, if a lot of them, and you ask them, I think they would say, nope, I wouldn't want to do it, but do it for him. You know, some girls are stupid like that, okay, y'all? Was Dolph, baby mama, that type of person? He was like, he wasn't hiding the fact that he was messing with other women. It was like, you know, so what? You know, was there arrogance about, you know, Dolph, too? You know, think about it, y'all. A million dollars can get split so many ways, no matter how big his family was, y'all. A hundred million dollars. Think about a hundred million dollars. If he had, <clears throat> think about this. If he had, just say, I'm just going to throw some numbers out here. 20 cousins. Okay, y'all? If he got 20 cousins and um, they split a hundred million dollars. These are, you know, people that don't have a lot of money. The only thing they have is what Dolph give them or try to help them with their businesses. If you throw each one of these people a million dollars out of a hundred million. The close family members that played a part. Just say 20. I'm going to just throw 20 out there. But it seems like a lot more. A lot of people are like, it's a whole bunch of them, y'all. I don't know why they ain't talking. It's a whole bunch of them. Okay. Even if we ante it up to 30. 30 cousins and family members. If you give. You ain't talking about money that's, you know, put in a bank somewhere or whatever. You're talking about $100 million of, you know, money that. They can touch. Okay? If you gave 30 family members a million dollars, okay, you still got 70 million left. Right, y'all? Do you see how many ways that this money could have been, you know, placed around a big family like that? And, and everybody saying, you know, out of all the people that, you know, he grew up around all these people and cousins and people that were adopted and stuff like that. Ain't nobody talking. Okay? He said all the business. What about all the businesses? What about all the businesses? I keep saying, why would he say this to me? Like, what about the businesses? Everybody that had a business that he was either allegedly laundering money through or... um. Help the business out in some way, or either you know them special cookies being sold out the back door. Okay, for them special prices. Everybody that he had business with that had businesses, they can literally throw the paperwork away if he did have some ties with them. And nine times out of ten, his lawyer or somebody else, you know, allegedly. Because somebody is saying that the lawyer, I heard somewhere that the lawyer was over PRE now. I don't know if it's true or not, y'all, but I heard that. Then they're saying that his baby mama, she was into real estate. So is this why he had no property in his name? Because they were schooling him on where to put this money at. Y'all. See, you cannot be with somebody 
and dogged them out by being with other women behind their back and playing them. And at the same time, this woman has ties to your businesses, access to your money, access to your kids, access to your property. You cannot do that, y'all. Okay? I don't care how y'all... She wouldn't do this. She wouldn't do that. The things that's coming out now says different, y'all. Okay? They say different. So, what did, you know, Straight Drop... Straight Drop was packing, or unless he was already packed, before, while it was happening. He was out of there just as fast as everybody else was. Okay. And people was putting up stuff talking about money bag yo is on his way out of town. All this stuff. But what about Key Glock? He left before him. He left before everybody. That's what I heard. Y'all. Now I don't know for 100% sure. But that's what I heard. That Key Glock was the first person that got out of the Dodge. Okay. So, was it anything for Trap, Moneybag Yo, CMG, Deathfire? Was it, you know, is it far fetched, y'all, that they work together and Key Glock went along with it? They got to get, some, get somebody out their way. I told y'all he was setting the trap up a year before. Okay, Trap. Go look at the video trap, y'all. Y'all see the spiders and all this stuff going on through the video. You see it. They were setting a trap up then. That's how the video comes on, y'all. Look who was in the video with them. Baby, the one that came to the funeral too. Okay, y'all? So just think about all the people that millions of dollars went to. Okay? We ain't talking no chump change. You know, like I told y'all, when Mo3 went out, I thought, baby, I just thought maybe. Okay? I thought maybe. When Mo3 went out, they trying to mess me up. They might mess up my thought. They just bust in here, y'all. <laughs> I got to get it out. So when he comes in to the scene, and I'm like, Mo3, people got paid off him. There was millions of dollars transferred. Okay? With insurance money and stuff like this. But this right here is way over what happened with Mo3. It's way over the top. Like, remember I told y'all this in my video. I said it's going to get worse. It is going to get worse. If nothing is done about Mo3. Y'all going to see this popping up all over the place. And I said this a long time ago. Right after Mo3 passed. But here we are again. Here we are again y'all. Same thing. Yellow Beasy, here goes Soulja Boy. Soulja Boy was the one who called, and, you know, who put the video up. He think it's a game. He think that he going along with the plan. Everybody have the hand in this cookie jar, y'all. Everybody got paid. So if you thinking that, it, you know, people are going to accept that, all oh, these two guys that's in there and the couple guys that, you know, hit up the, you know, you know the memorial they set outside, it's all that's involved. Then no, y'all. This Rico is going to be crazy. And I was saying this before when uh, Mo3 was taken out. I was saying the same thing. I said this Rico is going to be crazy. But it's going to be even crazier now because here's another body. And here's the same people, y'all. Another body, but the same circle of people. People from Fort Worth. Same circle of people. Has something to do with Mo3. People from Fort Worth. Same circle of people that has something to do with Dolph. Okay? And everybody played a part. Everybody played a part in this. Okay, y'all? This same wildebeest right here. That's partying with young, you know, yellow. The same wildebeest, y'all. It's the same wildebeest right here. That's partying with people. That were partying when Dolph was taken out. They were celebrating for dear life. Okay? People were just posting up my people, cutting up. And then do y'all see the message in the middle? It says, y'all understood the MF assignment. I got my soldiers with me. 
So what is they trying to say? These are the people that played a part too? Were they some of the people that was following him around? Because this girl right here, she looked a little familiar over here, the one to the left. She looked like she could have been either the girl that was in the car following or recorded something when Dolph was at the gas station to, to you know, to the Makita store. So could... It says y'all understood the assignment. So what assignment did they have to do with Dolph, y'all? Okay? And why is the same female hanging out with them, the people that had an assignment to take Dolph out? Why is the same female? Why is the same female, y'all? Partying, partying, partying. Cause they sweating up, they sweating y'all. Okay, they just she just sweated off her makeup. Okay, not that it was helping, but she just sweated it off. Why is these same people around the same people, y'all? There's yellow. Why? Hmm. Why is the cases so similar? Because you know maybe rain them gave. They're giving, you know, raving them tips, allegedly. What was that movie that used to come on, y'all? How to Get Away with Murder. Is that this whole skull and rain man thing? Hmm? How to get away with it? Ask yourself this question, y'all. And then th this is when you realize... That this what this was about all along. His territory, this hundred million dollars. You ain't about to go spend this money with no empire. You gonna split this with us, the family. We all about to have some of this money. Have y'all been to that foundation to that page? They are charging $75 for a picture, y'all. A picture, I think, of Dolph, the front of his obituary or something. They charging for pictures of his obituary, y'all. Now, if this ain't family greed, I don't know what is, y'all. Okay? Anyway, y'all, please like, share, and subscribe if you like this video. And thanks for watching, y'all. Peace. Don't forget to go to the other channel, y'all. Sipping with Miss Lowdown. Part one is on that channel. Okay, y'all? It's in my description box. And it is pinned to the top of the comment section. Okay, y'all? Peace.